lovelies, I'm popping on today to give you a really quick tip if your goal is to move from a difficult relationship with food to a healthy relationship with food that comes naturally to you. When I'm on a discovery call with a potential new client, one of the questions I'm asking them is, what do you want? What is, What are your goals when it comes to your relationship with food and how you want to feel? And what I often hear a lot of is what they don't want. I don't want to think about food all the time anymore. I don't want to worry about my weight. I don't want to feel insecure anymore. And so it goes on. Not all the time, but I do hear a lot of that. Are you very clear? Do you have a very clear picture of what it is that you do want? Because if I say to you, don't think of a pink elephant, we've all heard that, right? What do you think of? A pink elephant. And so if you're walking around throughout your days thinking about all the things that you don't want, what do you think the natural consequence of that is going to be? If you're walking through your days with a very clear picture of everything that you do want and are aiming for and are working towards specifically, what do you think the consequence of that is going to be? In my experience, it's far easier to get somewhere when we know exactly where it is we're trying to get to, not what we're trying to get away from, but what we're trying to move towards. For instance, if you say, I don't want to think about food all the time anymore, the question I'd probably come back to you with is, what do you want to be thinking more about? What do you want to be focused on? What do you want to be important to you? Because once you get clear on that, we can start asking the question, well, what needs to change? What needs to shift in order to materialize that for you? I also think this is particularly helpful because when we've been struggling with our relationship with food for a while, it can become our identity, right? Maybe you can resonate with that. You might resonate with the identity of, I struggle with my relationship with food. And when you get very clear on what it is that you're aiming for and what that picture looks like, you can, by having that clear picture, in my experience, is then very helpful to start identifying with something new. You're not there yet, but you're identifying with being on that journey to get there. If someone's saying to me, I don't want to feel insecure anymore, the question that I'd ask them is, how do you want to feel about yourself? And they might say, well, I want to feel really confident. And that's when I'd move into asking the questions of, look, what does that mean to you? How would you know that you're confident? What things would you be thinking? What would you be feeling? And what would you be doing? And they might say, well, I'd be thinking positively about myself. I'd be helping myself, encouraging myself, standing up for myself, being assertive, going after the things that I want. And then that obviously opens up the question of, well, what do you need? to change or be different or what new information or insights do you need in order to be able to start actioning on those. And that's of course where the coaching side of it comes in. If you'd like some help actually building this picture and getting a clear understanding of what your healthy relationship with food will look like, what it is that you're moving towards, and are a little bit stuck, then that's something that you and I can even do over the phone on a discovery call which I'm very happy to do with you. If you would like help taking that picture and materializing it as quickly and as seamlessly as possible with someone that understands and is qualified to help you along that journey, then obviously that's what I'm here for. I work one-to-one -one with clients and I see clients from all over the world to help move them from dieting and binge eating to a healthy relationship with food. If you'd like to have a discussion about that and to see if we're a good fit, then you're very welcome to book a discovery call with me below.